When I was a child, Japanese economy was like so good. Everybody had money, like everybody, like literally everybody. And I think that that's because one of the reasons why Capsule Hotel was so popular in Japan back in the 80s, like early 80s. And what I did not know the existence of Capsule Hotel until my father told me. Because my father used to quite often you stay there because he worked so hard and Japanese train stops after 12.30. So after 12.30, you have to find a place to stay. And a lot of businessmen do actually used to a lot, not, not anymore, but Japanese businessmen used to stay there because they, can, they couldn't get home. And they actually have to wake up early in the morning, like six or seven. So it's easier for them to stay in a tiny place. So my father used to do that, but not every day, but like quite maybe th three times or four times a month. And I used to much go, I asked when my father told me, oh, I stayed at Capsule Hotel last night. And I, as a child, I couldn't imagine what, what it, it was like. And I didn't think about anything at all. I just like, oh, okay, Capsule Hotel, Capsule Hotel, it's really popular, everyone knows about it, you know. And I don't really have the clear association with the Capsule Hotel. I didn't have any feeling or like expression toward Capsule Hotel. But then, um, my father died one and a half year ago, and he st he died from overworking. Like, it's really overworking. He died from stress, and it's been a huge issue in Japan right now, because people just do work, overwork. Even my, my even my friends at my age do overwork, and he died like that. And I really think that Capsule Hotel is one of the like symbol, symbol of the Japan Japanese society. As a child, when I when my father told me, "Oh, I stayed at Capsule Hotel," I I automatically automatically thought of, thought about a capsule, a pill, and you staying there in a tiny capsule, and I couldn't really imagine how you're gonna sleep there, like where you put Piro and Futon and where is the where is the light, where is the like mirror. I couldn't even think about it. I just thought, thought about you being a tiny tiny pill. That's all I thought about. But then I saw the capsule hotel on T V. That's how I came in contact with the the real visual capsule hotel. And, but then there was a rumor actually, among kids, there was a rumor that Capsule Hotel is actually, is the place where men goes to see women. There was actually a rumor like that among kids, it, it, which isn't true, but, so, when I first heard about that word, I thought about pill. But then I thought about my father going to see a woman and well as a kid I, I don't know what they do so I just thought about like you know me, my father being with a, another woman, not with my mom. That's what I thought and I thought about like you know Capsar Hotel is for something where you know you have like intimate physical relationship with somebody. And a lot of the capsule hotel are in that kind of place, like Kabukicho in Shinjuku in Kabukicho, or this place called Koganecho in Yokohama, where a lot of prostitutes are there. And there's a lot, actually, a lot of capsule hotel in Koganecho in Yokohama. Yokohama is right next to Tokyo. So, as a kid, as a 
as a teenager, maybe, not as a kid. I thought about it, and then I, now that I became older, I know what it is used for. And that rumor of, that rumor that we had among kids turned to be something something that like I said before something that symbolized the really really bad side of Japanese society that's how I really think reason the reason why I think like that is because if you don't overwork you can go to work you can go home at five o'clock in the evening can I, and have dinner with your family or friends and relax you can have that kind of time. But in Japan, it's not like that. People really do work, overwork. So, and again, like I said, it's really a matter of like the train stop after 12.30. So a lot of the workplaces are gathered in Tokyo and a lot of businessmen come from suburb like my father did. So it takes like maybe three hours or two and a half hours to get actually to get to work in Tokyo. So there was a sort of need of capsule hotel at that time of like the economy, uh, where when the economy was really really good. Maybe one time I go there and sleep just to experience how I feel and how I would like to. I would love to find out how how my father or other people felt like. Like I, I would like to try that to find out. You have to, you have to. You force yourself to sleep there in a tiny, tiny, tiny place. And you can. I'm sure you can't relax. Just one time of experience is fine, just fun. But you have to do. It. Imagine you have to do it every, after, like every, twice, like you know, every few times a week. Or like every day sometimes I'm sure that it really affects your men mental mental condition because you can't relax like that and I would like to try and experience how my father fell do you sleep you have to sleep in that tiny tiny place every day every night can I I, I can't do that 